So I want to spend a moment on India's relationship with the United States, which has been developing significantly over the last several years, and especially on your watch, but where apparently we've had some break bumps recently. One was this talk that President Biden didn't come to the Republic Day uh, because they were upset with the way India was uh, trying to bump off uh, alleged Khalistani separatists in the United States and that's something that America is upset about. Some American Which senators... Some American senators and congressmen have spoken to say that the drones which are being given are conditional to India acting on the Nijar case and on the Pannu case. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, uh, the visits which were expected to happen uh, in January didn't happen, we were trying to also, we were trying to get a quad meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? And Quad meeting obviously needed uh, three other parties uh, to come together. The Americans uh, essentially told us that you know a lot of it is a scheduling uh, mm -hmm. issue. If you look at the relationship, I think the relationship today is really solid. I mean, uh, you see Prime Minister's June visit uh, and, and even now, I mean, uh, we continue uh, to consult regularly on a whole host of issues, uh, the drone mm -hmm. issue. The Americans have a very unique process of decision making. Uh, they have separation of powers. Uh, I don't think any other country has, no major country has anything similar. So they have to do their own internal negotiations and approvals, etc. If I am not party to a discussion huh, and it's somebody else's internal discussion, I think it's more sensible of me to leave it to them to handle. But as far as I am concerned, what we are intending to procure from the United States is, is a defense uh, decision. Uh, in the case of Canada, I think uh, there is a recognition today that a lot of this has to do with Canadian politics. Uh, that you know, uh, you know that they have a long record of interfering in Indian politics. Uh, I think we've been uh, fairly upfront about it, which is that uh, uh, we believe uh, today that. Uh, uh, there are uh, criminal organizations which are transnational, which are involved in a whole series of activities. And whatever allegedly happened in this case is to our mind, uh, you know, something to do with all of that. And so, uh, I mean, not only do they need to investigate it, which they are, but we also need to investigate it, which we are. And by the way, tomorrow I could be raising a problem, you know. I could be asking some country saying, you know, I think there is this problem and I think you need to look into it. So, uh, but, but I won't kind of uh, uh, blow it uh, out of uh, all proportion. Um, you know, uh, to be very honest, uh, let us say in the last uh, three, four months, it may not, I mean, it won't have figured more than in a uh, handful of meetings, if that. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.